Hey, I haven't done a video in a while. I'm tired. You have to realize I got up at 5.30. Uh, my life for the last couple days has been completely devoid of anything, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> not anything, but basically, yeah, actually. As of 2, uh, two o'clock yesterday, uh, I woke up yesterday really early, waiting for the UPS man. Things are going to be moving. And because I was supposed to get my book, Harry Potter. Don't worry, I'm not going to give any spoilers. I hate when people do that. Anyway, so I'm waiting around, looking out the window, going back here, avoiding everything, like everything. I try to watch all the DVR shows that I had that were on before. God, my hair looks like crap. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, um, watch the DVR shows that I uh, had dvr before the release date, so of course nothing came out. And I was watching Best Week Over, and they had released a potential spoiler. And I was very angry at them to the point where I almost thought plans to become a network executive and then fire everyone who had something to do with that show and cancel the show just for revenge. But luckily enough, when I read, actually read the book that um, it, none of it was true. The spoiler joke was not true. So I read it all within uh, a day, not even a day, not even 24 hours. I read it from like 2.30 yesterday until like 8 o'clock, and then woke up at 5.30 this morning and read more. It was really good. I liked it a lot. I thought the end was sort of forced. The epilogue was really forced, but otherwise I really loved it. But that's all I'm going to say about it, because I don't want to spoil it, because people get really, really angry with spoilers, so I refuse to do that. Um, in a week from today, I'm going down to Virginia with uh, Christian, of course, and our friend Chris. I'm excited about that. And I won't be anywhere near a computer for five days. Or near an Xbox for five days. It's going to be really weird. Um, but, you know, I've gotten past the last two days, basically, without going on Xbox, really. I don't think I've played anything for the last two days. And so we're going to go down there. Chris is just visiting, because Chris may not move with us. Probably not going to. That saddens me a lot, but whatever. We'll have fun on our trip together, and he'll visit. And, um, afterwards, we're gonna have fun down there, Christian's gonna look for a job, we're gonna look for an apartment, and then I'm gonna look for a job when I get down there finally, because I'm gonna have to work. It sucks. I can still run the business on the side, but I'm gonna have to work to get actual money to use toward, um, bills and such, because I can't put it all on Christian. So, we're gonna do that, we're gonna go down there and do that, and for five days, we're gonna have fun. <clears throat> I realized lately... I guess I left kind of a thing the last video that I kind of was <clears throat> depressed about something and um, I discussed it with Christian and I discussed it with some other people and I have to admit that I think I am but I was depressed because I was thinking about friendships and relationships in general and relationships have this keen thing of actually dwindling away and some people just stop being friends for whatever or grow distant and I realized a lot that I've grown distant from a lot of my friends and that kind of sucks but I guess it happens. And I realized that some of the people who I've known for a very long time don't really know me a real long time in person, like people who I've actually never met in person know me quite well. And I guess I could blame them or myself, and I think it partly is my fault, but the other part is I think just some of the people I've known have not really cared about my life, really, at all. All they do is talk about themselves and care about themselves, and never really ask how they do, they just want to go on about themselves, and it's kind of really cool. And before I get comments from people who I do know and talk to on a regular basis saying, oh, is it me? If you're asking if it's me, it's probably not you. Because you wouldn't care. And if you're asking, if you're not asking it's me, it's probably you. And so I just, I guess, I have to accept that's how life goes. It sucks a lot. Because, I don't know. Even though when you are married or coupled or something, I guess you still desire outside contact and such. And I realize now that, you know, even though I haven't had a lot of time for context, and I've even let some friendships dwindle away, it's not dwindling, it's just that I've been so busy with a lot of things going on in my life, that it's rare that I can't go into a conversation with someone I haven't spoke to in a while and just care about their life and ask what's going on and actually care, and they ask me about their life. But there's a lot of people who are just like, hey, it's me. And then, like, mention something that's going on with me and they just don't want to hear it. They're just like, no, I'm only going up about me. I love my shirt. 
Well, it's not my shirt, it's Christmas shirt, but I love this shirt. Anyway, I guess that's a lot to blame to share or whatever. That's how life goes. And I had to buck up to get over it. Um, discuss it and such. Um, been having fun lately. Krish and I went out the other day, finally, for like the first time in ever. We actually had time for each other, because we don't get a lot of time for each other because of his job. And we went out, got eyeglasses, that was fun. Spent too much money on the eyeglasses, but whatever. I need them. And I'm surprised when I read this book that, you know, all all the pages of this book my eyes didn't burst because when I read um, the last book my eyes started bleeding basically. They were so painful. And afterwards we came home and we went out for sushi and we had tried everything new. I didn't get anything. I always get like tuna rolls and salmon rolls and um, octopus, but I didn't. I got all new things and we tried all new things and it was really, really fun. I really like trying new things. It was really nice. And then now we're just saving our money to go on this trip for five days and uh, figuring out how to feed two people, sometimes three, or have enough money to feed everybody on a uh, basically a shoestring budget. Yeah. But, you know, I don't eat much for breakfast, I don't eat much for lunch, I can save it all for dinner. And at least one night we'll get a free dinner, hopefully, cross our fingers. And that's it, that's all going on with my life. I could go into detail about the eye doctor, I would later. I just kind of tired right now because of reading the book and such, so I'm going to go because I'm bopping the chair back and forth, but um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.